Harvard President Claudine Gay is attending a menorah, a menorah lighting um, and call as calls are growing for her to resign over campus anti-Semitism. Joining us now, Harvard University student Shabbos Kestenbaum. Shabbos, it's great to have you back on the program. Um, a lot of people are wondering, basically, because she's declined to go to this event in the past and now obviously amidst this controversy, if this is basically a performance on Claudine Gay's part. Oh, it's certainly a performance on Gay's part. She broke 25 years of precedent, whereby the president of Harvard University comes and celebrates Judaism and Jewish life on campus by lighting a candle. It doesn't take very long. It's a win-win for all parties involved. She declined the invitation by Harvard Chabad, which is one of the main organizations of student life on campus. She declined it twice. And it was only after the PR backlash was so strong that she decided, okay, she would come. And I would also want to make a point that when Rabbi Hershey Zarki, who is the, the founder and the leader of Harvard Chabad, when he spoke last night at the menorah lighting about how anti-Semitism is thriving at Harvard, how just the night before a woman interrupted the lighting by saying that the Holocaust and anti-Semitism is fake. So he said all of this, you know what Claudine Gay said? Hmm. Nothing. She just left. She didn't talk to students. Hmm. So even when she's trying to do her PR photo op, she couldn't even do that right. Alice, I want to ask you about this because I'm eager to get a student perspective. The Harvard Crimson, your student newspaper, editorial board reported on plagiarism allegations against President Gay, concluding that some of her work violates the school's current policies around academic integrity, despite support from the corporation, the guys who govern your school. Shabbos, I used to be a professor. When a student committed plagiarism, I needed a administration that would back me up. And that meant they showed it by living by the standard. I cannot imagine how students are going to respond when they get accused of plagiarism at Harvard. What do you make of this? You're absolutely right. When she was dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences and hiding the fact that at least five of her 11 published papers had serious accusations of plagiarism against it, a record number of 27 students were forced, forced to withdraw from Harvard College during the 2020-2021 academic year due to academic dishonesty. I think it's also really important to remember that in 2006, President Larry Summers was fired from the Board of Trustees for suggesting that the employment discrepancies between men and women could largely be attributed to innate biological differences. Um, at that point, he had already served as U.S. Treasury Secretary, the chief economist of the World Bank, and was the youngest tenured uh, economics professor at Harvard. In 2023, when Claudine Gay said that the genocide of Jews is a context-dependent situation, not mm -hmm. only did she receive unanimous approval from that board of trustees and no calls for resignations from them, but she only, at that point, had 11 published papers. Five of them were credibly accused of plagiarism. So for all of the people who are saying that it's not right for her to resign. My question is, why not? What has she done in the six months that she is here that has been admirable or noteworthy or mentionable? All I can do is point to flaws and criticism and downright enabling anti-Semitism. Mm. And I want to bring students and faculty together. I want to get over these divisions. But the first step is accountability. And that means Claudine Gay must resign. Shabbos, great perspective. Thanks for joining us today. Good to see you.